Hey y'all, and welcome to Skyrim Scripting. You've seen them, you've used them, you love them. Sky UI Mod Configuration Menus. Ta-da! That's what we're going to make for your mod. So let's get started. Now, the way this is going to work, this is the first episode in a series. I'm going to do things like probably one episode per like option type and like per different patterns and things that people normally do with their mod configuration menus. Uh, we will get to a point in this episode where you have a working mod configuration menu. It just like shows up and that is the assumed starting point for all of the other episodes in this series. Unlike all of my other playlists, we're not going to create a new mod in every episode. We're just going to make it right now. So let's get started. All right, so grab your Vortex, grab your Mod Organizer 2, grab whatever you got. Make sure you have SKSE, and then head on over to Sky UI and download that puppy, which you probably already have. So you're going to need Sky UI to use the uh, mod configuration menu. Here it is. Let me download it. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba Boop. Um, maybe I'll get to that later. Mod configuration menu. Download. Download started. I think I've already downloaded it maybe. So new file will receive a different name. Nah. Let's install the one I downloaded previously. Sweet. Now this means that we can use mod configuration menus, so I'll turn that on. But it does not mean that we can build our own mod configuration menus. For that, we need the Sky UI SDK, and we can find that on GitHub by searching the Googles or wherever you like to search for Sky UI SDK. If you can't find it, search for Sky UI SDK Google or something. So here we go. We end up on the wiki for the Sky UI repository. And you want to download the most recent SkyUI SDK, which as of now is 5.1. Hasn't been updated in like ages, but it does what it's supposed to do. So this is Google Drive. You're going to hit the download button like I just did. We're going to download this zip file. You're probably going to want to hold on to this in case, you know, SkyUI disappears. The sky falls. I don't know. Um, save this. And you are going to want to extract this, and uh, it really depends on where you have your script files. So as we've talked about in my beginner basic series and a no number of other series, uh, folks will have their script source files in one of two directories. If you head on over to your Skyrim special edition folder and head on into data, you will either have a scripts folder or a source folder. Uh, if you have both, then you need to find out which one is your main folder that your creation kit uses. To find that out, head on into scripts and source. And if this has over 13,910 script files, ta-da, script source is your main directory. What you can do is you can literally just go to your data folder and grab this script, the scripts directory and copy it on over, drag it into your data directory, unless you want to uh, do it differently, which I'll show you. Um, if your 13,910 files are in data source scripts, then you're going to want to uh, do what I just said. You want to copy the scripts over because that'll put the compiled PEX files in the right place. But then you want to open up the source folder with these two things. You specifically need config base. You need the sky config base file to be in either scripts source or source scripts. You can just put it in both. But we're going to instead make a new mod essentially and uh, we've done this with SKSE. Uh, we're going to put this scripts directory into a new mod so that we can turn it on and turn it off. So let's head on over to wherever your mods folder is. Uh, for me I can do this in Mod Organizer 2. I'm going to create an empty mod. I'm going to call it Sky UI SDK. Hit OK. And I can right click, open this in Explorer. Now, wherever you keep all your mods, you can just right click, new folder, add new mod. I only have a couple mods here because this is my screencasting machine and I keep my mods basically, I clean them up between every episode. So, you got this new Sky UI SDK folder. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to that Sky UI SDK 
that we downloaded. Drag the scripts folder over. And if you want, you can drag the examples over. Sure, why not? Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to Vortex. Close it and open it. And then say Apply Changes. Or in Mod Organizer 2, you can just uh, refresh if you did that outside. And what we can do is when you turn this on via Vortex, um, it will, if you're using Vortex, it'll push the appropriate files into your data directory that Creation Kit needs. Uh, now, if we're using Mod Organizer 2, uh, we can look at scripts here. Um, if I turn this off, the uh, sky config base PSC file will disappear. These are the PEX files. I won't bother trying to find this. I'll, I'll do this again. Turn that on. Refresh. Sky config base PSC. Ta da! Now, we've been through source scripts and script source a couple times. I hope you're getting comfortable with it now. If not, the really only thing you need to remember is find that PSC file for config base and the quest base one and copy them into both script source and source scripts and it'll work. That'll be fine. Just copy them into both in your data directory. You'll be good. We just need you to be able to compile scripts that use the config base for making a new mod configuration menu. So let's actually make one. Let's make a new mod. We'll call it cool mod. Cool mod is a cool mod. And uh, you can just at home, if you're not using Mod Organizer 2, open up creationkit.exe. I'll be there in a moment. You can go ahead and open it while I tell my Mod Organizer 2 to save its S its creation kit files into my cool mod. And that's the way that you do it on um, Mod Organizer 2. Now, whether you're in Mod Organizer 2 or not, we're in the creation kit. Go ahead and go to that save button and save cool mod. Cool mod. Cool. Save. And now uh, the recommended approach here is you're going to make a quest and attach a script to the quest, which will be your mod configuration menu script. So we're going to make a quest. So character quest, new quest, call that whatever you want. I'm going to call it cool mod quest. And then as always, we're going to click OK and then reopen it. And now all the extra tabs appear and we can go scripts, add. Don't do this before clicking OK and reopen, even though the scripts tab is there. Don't do it. You'll regret it. Go to New Script. This is going to extend a quest. That's fine. We're going to change that. Uh, but keep quest. Do uh, do config mod MCM. It's kind of the convention. Do your mod name MCM. It's great. It'll it'll mean that other folks who read your source code will be able to find your mod configuration menu code really easily. Do it. And hit OK. Mm. Mm. Never seen that one before in my life. I bet if you use Creation Kit enough, you'll run into that error. Uh, all I did was I exited the error, uh, I, I closed the quest, I reopened up the quest, I went over to scripts, I hit add, and uh, the cool search for cool, and the mod MCM was there. Um, I think I know what happened. It's about the Papyrus compiler making assembly files and then trying to compile them into PEX files uh, and some threading issues. Uh, doesn't matter. I mean, you could always remove this and re-add it. So that happened. Apparently that can happen sometimes. But you got your mod, MCM, and that's all that's important. What you're going to do is you're going to right-click. You're going to edit source. Now this extends a quest. Now normally I switch over to Visual Studio Code right now, but I'm going to hang out with you in this little teeny code box just to make sure that this next step works for you. Change Quest to, I'll open this up in Notepad so it's bigger for you. For you. Uh, Notepad, here's what we have. Cool Mod MCM Extends Quest. Change this to Sky Config Base. Got it? I'm going to put that into my little source box and hit Control-S. 
Now it should say compilation succeeded. If that did not succeed, go back in the video, watch where we opened up the Sky UI SDK, and we found that scripts folder with the source folder and found config base.psc and put it, scatter it all around your data directory. <laughs> Um, put it somewhere where uh, Creation Kit will find it, either in data script source or data source scripts. This is where you need to be. This is like the main point of episode one of this entire series. It's just this. Literally just this. You are like 90% of the way to having a cool mod configuration menu. This is what catches most people. This is, this is what makes people most people not be able to finish their mod configuration menu. So, what you can actually do now, because we compiled that, is you can go to Properties. Boop. And there's these two new properties. One is Mod Name and the other one is Pages. Now, normally I don't configure these from the properties, but I'll show you how to do it. I'll save. I'll um, edit this quest. Go here. What you can do is you can edit the value of the Mod Name. Uh, I don't want to show you how to do this. I want to show you how to do it in code. So I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio Code. You should right click Edit Source, and I'm going to write the same code for this box. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am in my cool mod. I got my cool mod MCM. Um, why is that angry? Aha. Okay, I'm good. I told you to where, where to put that PSC file and all that script stuff, but I didn't do it. So now I've done it too. We're caught up. So what we're gonna do in here is we are going to subscribe to an event. We're not going to do event on init like we often do. We're going to do event on config init. Okay? And event. Okay? Now in there you can set the properties on the script and there's two important ones. One is the mod name itself. That's what's gonna show up in the mod configuration menu as like the title of your mod on the side. And then uh, you can set what your pages are because you go into the mod configuration menu and you can have anywhere between uh, one and a bunch of pages, right? You kind of even have zero pages. So mod name equals cool mod. And then uh, let's give it some pages. This is a string array. So we say pages equals new string, and then uh, how many pages you want in here. Five pages, 10 pages, one page. You can have up to 128, I think. So one page, and we'll call that page setting. So it's, a, it's an array, so we'll do page zero equals settings. Uh, we've done some of this in my uh, Papyrus Basics, uh, beginner basics tutorials and stuff like that. It's just an array, settings, Good. Save, control S, and it should compile successfully in Creation Kit. I'm gonna do my little doohickey which compiles in Visual Studio Code. Now we're gonna open this up in game. I'm gonna close Creation Kit and head on over to run this game with Sky UI enabled and SKSE. Run it with SKSE. And now we're just going to COC Riverwood like we usually do. And then look at the upper left once we get there. You're looking for like MCM menu loaded or something. So we for MCM registered one new menu. Aha! Here's escape. Go to system. Go to mod configuration. Ooh. Ooh, Sky UI shows up, but not my mod because we didn't turn it on. So we made sure that Sky UI worked. That was the point of that. I did that intentionally. I ran the game without my mod running intentionally. So look at the top left. Now hopefully we'll get two. Registered two new menus. That should be the Sky UI one and ours. We did it. We made one. Let's go look. My configuration, it's called Cool Mod. Hey, look at that, it's got a page, it's got a page called Settings. Oh my god, we did it, we did it. Uh, should we put something on the page? We're 15 minutes into this, let's just make sure we don't go to 20. Sure, let's put something on the page. Um, 
Now I'm going to quit and rerun and quit and rerun. I haven't been able to get reload script to work well with uh, mod configuration menus. What are you going to do? Uh, so what we want to do is when you render the page, when someone clicks on settings or just clicks on your mod, um, there's this event that gets called called on page reset and it gets passed a parameter which is the name of the page, for example settings. Or if you just click on cool mod, you notice we didn't click on any pages, you just click on cool mod and then you click on settings. If you just click on cool mod, then it's going to call on page reset with an empty string. So let's check this out. Uh, event uh, on page reset string page name or just page whatever end event and now um, let's just put some text on the screen add text option string text string value hello text Hello, value. Cool. Save. Control S, save. That should that should compile. So uh, that's all we're doing. We're not even looking at the page. Um, I guess we could say add text option. Hello, text, and page. Hello, value, and page. So it has this text and some value. We'll go over these option types in future episodes. So just control S to compile this thing. And we, we add a text option with some text and a value. Let's find out what they look like, shall we? We're learning about Sky UI MCMs. It's called an MCM, Mod Configuration Menu, Mod Configuration Menu. Ooh, that's creepy. And top left it should say two new registered menus. Sometimes it just says one. Uh, system, mod configuration, cool mod. Hello text. So you can see that's what the text is. Hello value. So that's what text and value is when you use a, uh, a text option. There's other types of options for, for drop downs, for keyboard shortcuts, for even picking colors, all kinds of things. So now let's click on settings. Ah. Hello text settings and hello uh, value. So if we go back to cool mod, uh, the page is empty. The page variable is just set to empty string and so it doesn't add anything here. Um, but settings, if we go there, we can see we uh, we changed it. And you can't go back to like the, the not having a page selected unless you go back like that. But yeah, that's it. Um, the next one, I might show you how to make a logo. Uh, or I'll show you how to do, uh, I think, toggle options. Toggle options are what most people want to do first. So stick around, head on over to that video playlist for the mod configuration menu, making it cool, teach you how to, teach you how to do it playlist, and uh, yeah. That's it. How to make a Sky UI mod configuration menu. We're going to do like at least 10 episodes. We're going to do like all the little things. We're going to teach you how to uh, upgrade versions of your uh, mod, uh, how to use an in make an installer, all kinds of stuff. It's going to be fun, right? All right. Good night and uh, happy modding. Right, bye everyone.